I, I love hostage videos. N not real hostage videos. I mean, like videos that people are forced to put out. You know, they don't want to put them out. They're forced to. These are usually apology videos, right? And whether it's uh, the company somebody works for or a, a team they're associated with or a political party, whatever, someone, they say something or do something that pisses a lot of people off. And then the, the higher ups, the powers that be force them to, to make to go on like this apology tour. And, and it, the reason I call them hostage videos, they, is that's what they look like. It, you know, it, it looks like uh, they're clearly reading from a script. There's somebody like just off camera with a gun pointed at their head, you know, making them read it. That's why I call them hostage videos. But I don't know if I've ever seen a hostage letter have to be released uh, until now. This story is a few days old, of course, uh, now, but I'm just getting around to talking about it. I've had several people mention it and ask me about it and ask me to do a video about it. So here you go. But Florida basketball player, uh, Philandris, whatever his name is, a basketball player from uh, for the Florida Gators, from the Athens area, though, from, from the Athens, Georgia area, went to high school, I believe, at Cedar Shoals uh, in the Athens area, star basketball player in high school, uh, several offers decided to go to the University of uh, Florida, which I don't blame him. Georgia's basketball team's an absolute disgrace, so I don't blame him for getting the hell out of Dodge. But he goes to Florida. He's been down there. Uh, he, I, I think he's a he's a junior or a senior, I believe. Um, anyway, but he's a huge Georgia football fan. Now this is a little tricky. I'll admit uh, this is a, a, a tricky situation here. But so he plays basketball for the University of Florida Gators. But he grew up in the Athens, Georgia area, and he's a huge Georgia Bulldogs football fan. Well. He thought it would be a good idea to live stream himself watching the end of the national title game this past Monday between Georgia and Alabama, which Georgia won, <laughs> 2021 national champion, my Georgia Bulldogs. He thought it would be a good idea to live stream himself watching the end of that game in a Georgia hoodie, yelling, go dogs, barking, uh, chanting all the UGA mantras that you hear at the football game and of course this did not go over well with the florida fans immediately i mean the comment section on the live chat uh, i'll play some of the live video now um I, I know i can find it if i can remember when i'm editing this video i'll put it in now um here you go uh, yeah. oh my gosh they look about me and mine are gonna be riding down riding down Oh, uh, university blasting. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Hey, all in your blue ass car. <laughs> I'm going to be at the sunroof. Who let the dogs out? Uh, who? Who? Ooh. Oh, my gosh. That's so tough, man. He said transfer. I got one year. <laughs> I got one year. So, yeah, that's not the whole thing, but you you get the idea. The comment section is filled with comments like, uh, you need to transfer, you need to leave. Uh, those are some of the nicer comments in the comment section. It was called every name in the book. Uh, it was hilarious. Now, I'm going to admit, as a Georgia fan, and I don't even care about basketball, if there was a video floating around of a Georgia basketball player uh, pulling for the Florida Gators in football or celebrating a Florida Gators football win, that would probably upset me too. I don't really blame the fans for being mad or upset. I mean, ju just to be fair, I would probably be upset in that situation too. But they just they, they took it way overboard in my opinion. And what makes it even worse, it's one thing for the fans to get mad. You know, fans have all kinds of opinions on, on everything, myself included. Uh, you know, but but we're fans. We're allowed to to, to do that. But uh, what's funny to me is that not only did the fans get pissed off at him, apparently the Florida Gators basketball staff, the athletic department, uh, the school as a whole apparently had a big problem with our buddy Philandris uh, making this Georgia Bulldogs football celebration national title video and streaming it live to the point where they forced him to issue a hostage apology letter. Um, now, and, and yes, that's exactly what happened. Now, you're not going to, it's not like he says, hey, I'm being made to do it. It's obvious. It's obvious uh, the guy was made to do this by somebody 
or some group of people. My guess, either the basketball staff or the uh, or, or the athletic uh, department in general. Somebody forced this kid. Somebody wrote this letter really for this kid, gave it to him, and said, "Now you need to publish this on all your social media platforms." I'll put the letter up now. So you can see it now. But yeah, uh, uh, a hostage uh, might be the first hostage apology letter um, Uncle Lou has ever seen. And uh, I just think this is hilarious. Let up on the kid, would you? I mean, what do you want him to do? Cheer for the Florida Gators football team? I mean, let's get real. The Florida Gators haven't had anything to celebrate in 12 years. That's absolutely pitiful. Think about that. Forget a national title. Yeah, we know Florida hasn't won a national title since way back in 2008 when the iPhone 2 was getting ready to come out. Never mind that. They haven't even won the SEC since the, in that same amount of time. Think about it. 12 years, 13 seasons, they have not even won the SEC. I mean, this is Florida we're talking about. So what do you expect this kid to do? He grows up in Athens. Obviously, he's going to be a huge Georgia football fan. They've been better than Florida the last 12 years. That's just a fact. So this kid's 20 years old. So by the time he started paying attention to sports when he was 7 or 8, till today, Georgia has had a better football program than the University of Florida. Plus, he's from Athens and went to high school in Athens. It should be no surprise the guy's a Georgia fan. And he hasn't, even if he wanted to be a Florida Gators football fan, what in the hell would he have to celebrate? A loss to Central Florida in a bowl game in the middle of December? I mean, come on, give the kid a break. Philandrus, uh, Uncle Lou, uh, you, you have Uncle Lou's respect, sir. And as far as I'm concerned, you're free to root for whatever football team you want to, especially if it's the best damn football team in the land, your 2021 national title winning Georgia Bulldogs.